Hello there, welcome. Today we'll be making some chicken karai all in the comfort of your home. Now let's get started. The ingredients that I'll be using for this recipe, I'm using chicken thighs. You can also use whole chicken. I have removed the skin and slit the chicken as you can see. I have four tomatoes that I have blanched, removed the skin and cut into pieces. For those who don't know what blanching is, you put ripe potatoes in hot boiling water and then remove the skin. I also have some coriander, about two tablespoons of garlic and ginger, some paprika, which is completely optional. And you can also add some green chili as well if you like your chicken extra spicy. Another ingredient that we'll be using is some plain yogurt and also half a lemon. So you are going to add some oil into your karai or wok, whatever you'll be using, about half a cup. Go ahead to add in your chicken pieces and we're going to prepare this on high heat for about two minutes. Next, go ahead to add in about four tablespoons of plain yogurt and star. Once your yogurt has completely broken down and you have something similar, go ahead to add in your tomatoes. Then proceed to add in your green bell peppers. You can also add your chilies at this point and also a little bit of salt to taste. Cover it up and let it cook on medium high heat until the tomatoes are completely broken down. 10 minutes later, this is how my tomatoes have broken down and stir a little bit just to ensure that everything has completely broken down. Proceed to add in your garlic and ginger. Once that is done, it's time to add in our spices. I have added one tablespoon of coriander powder or dania powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala, and then a teaspoon of paprika. You can also add some chili powder if you still like your chicken extra spicy. Proceed to stir all these ingredients together on medium high heat until the masala completely infuses and breaks down into that sauce. Once that is done and you have a texture like this, complete to add about four tablespoons of yogurt. Once that is done, go ahead to add in a bunch of coriander. About two tablespoons of lemon juice and then cover it up and let it just cook for about two minutes and it's ready to serve. And voila, there's your chicken ready. It smells absolutely delicious. I love the consistency. I actually had it with some chapati. You can have it with some naan, some rice. Coconut rice actually goes perfectly well with this. Some um, ugali, whatever accompaniment that you prefer, but you definitely need to try this recipe. I really hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and I'll see you on the next recipe. Bye-bye.